Game Ranks presents the top 10 best free Steam games to play in 2015. Yes, maybe not all these games have released in 2015, but we made this list because we think these games are worth checking out this year. So let's get started with number 10. Adventure Capitalist is a clicker style game. These games are so popular and it's hard to explain why. In Adventure Capitalist, the idea is to make a lot of money. You start off with just a little lemonade stand and you work hard and level up and eventually you're an oil tycoon. It's got a bit of a Monopoly vibe, especially combined with the art style and music aesthetic of Fallout. This 50 style money making game will totally make capitalism seem like a lot of fun. And at number 9 we have the Expenda Bros. The Expenda Bros is a completely free offshoot of the amazing game Broforce. That's a tie-in that released alongside the Expendables 3. It features cartoony versions of all the main characters from the film, and it's an action platformer where you shoot stuff and explode stuff and it's just like Broforce but it's even more awesome. And yeah, while you think it's based on a movie, it might be shit, it's not. It's awesome. And at number 8 we have Dead Island Epidemic. This one was kind of under the radar just because it's a little bit of a weird category. It's a team based arena hero brawler, but instead of lanes or creeps like Dota or League, it's you and your team versus hordes of the undead. So if you're into zombies, this is right up your alley. It's hard to compare it to any MOBAs because you completely control your character. The player base for these types of games go up and down all the time and right now it seems like things have dried up a little bit, but this is also a good time to hop in and learn the ropes before the servers fill back up and you get your ass kicked. And at number 7 we have Dirty Bomb. Dirty Bomb is currently free and it's an open beta. It pulls a lot of elements from Team Fortress 2 and some elements from Battlefield, but it takes all that and makes it a little bit more tongue-in-cheek and light and fun. It's a team-based, objective-focused shooter developed by Splash Damage, the guys who designed the multiplayer modes for games like Return to Castle Wolfenstein and Doom 3. It's exciting, it's bombastic, no pun intended, and it's colorful and fun. It's got some free-to-play elements that you might find annoying, but they can be pretty much ignored. It's a damn good shooter, especially for a beta. At number 6 we have War Thunder. Do you like flying around planes and warships? Well, War Thunder might be for you, and it's free. War Thunder is a massively multiplayer online war game. You get to choose from a bunch of different land, sea, and air vehicles, spanning from World War II to the Korean War. It's got a great balance between arcade fun and military training sim. So there's a lot of real world tactics, strategies, and moves you gotta do, but it makes it fun. Of course, this is another free to play game where you can dump a bunch of money in, but also if you just use your brain and play good, you can get by without spending any money. And at number 5 we have Warframe. Now Warframe, okay listen, Warframe has completely transformed since its release and now it's a free to play answer to Destiny. It's a mission based third person sci-fi shooter and it's much better to play with friends. What makes Warframe special is that sense of movement that it has. You can wall run, slide, sprint, leap, jump, flip, and it's more fun than it ever has been. If you happen to play this game on PS4 back when the console first released, know that it's a much different game now. There's a lot of loot like gear, weapons, and armor that you can collect for free. Of course it gets to be a little aggressively free to play, but ultimately this is a great game to enjoy with a group of friends. And at number 4 we have Card Hunter. Card Hunter has been around as a browser version since 2013. Now it's a standalone Steam game with an aesthetic of a tabletop dungeon game, and it's pretty awesome. You play a party of 3 characters against a dungeon master, and the equipment you outfit your characters with determines the cards they draw before each round of combat. This compiles all the different things you do like moves, attacks, spells, and more. It's got great designs, art style, and sound design, and it'll totally bring back that nostalgia if you're a classic D&D player. And on the flip side, it's thankfully surprisingly deep, and you'll get a lot of time out of this free game. And at number 3, but definitely no surprise to anyone, Team Fortress 2. Team Fortress has been around forever, since like 1996 as a mod, and now it's a full-fledged free-to-play game that everybody loves. It's still constantly changing, but it's always a team-based first-person shooter with objectives that change on which mode you're playing. You can play offense, defense, support, and each lovable and awesome character is equipped with special abilities and specific weapons. There is a lot of game here, and it's all time-tested and honed to the best of its abilities. There's always events, new characters, new weapons, Team Fortress 2 is still always evolving and worth checking out for free. And at number 2 we have Path of Exile, which is basically the free version of Diablo. A lot of players out there have actually preferred this over Diablo 3. It feels a lot like Diablo 2. You know, for those of you that know the style of game, it's a top-down isometric hack and slasher that you run around, you kill enemies, you find loot, you upgrade your character, and just have a ball. Path of Exile focuses a lot on character progression and the systems within, and that's what makes it unique. You gotta actually really pay attention to how your character levels up, because there are so many different branching paths, and each decision will alter your gameplay. Oh, and also the multiplayer and lobby systems are top-notch. Path of Exile is definitely worth checking out. 
And at number one, we have Dota 2. You pretty much know or you don't know about Dota by this point. While League of Legends has the biggest following, it's Dota 2 that is the biggest on Steam. Now this game has an incredible learning curve, it's so difficult to get into, and sometimes the community isn't so into helping out newcomers. But if you take the time and really get into it and learn, you'll find that Dota 2 is awesome. It's a team-based 5 vs 5 match game that just makes every single match this incredibly tense, almost chess-like battle. What makes these games special is that you absolutely have to rely on your teammates. This isn't like other multiplayer games where you can run around and do lone wolf. Matches can go on for such a long time, but when you win, it's really satisfying, and I think that's what people are addicted to the most. And the whole game is just time-tested and honed because so many damn people play it. Dota 2 is definitely more accessible than ever before with a bunch of new levels and fan-created game modes. So guys, those were 10 free Steam games to play in 2015. Of course, there are so many other games on Steam that are free that we want to hear about if you're enjoying playing them. Let us know and everybody else in the comments what you're into right now. And of course, this is just a list that we compiled for 2015. We'll see you next year with more free Steam games to play because there are always going to be some, you know it. If you did have a good time with this video, maybe discovered a new game, click the like button because that helps us out. And if you're new, subscribing is the best thing you can do because we put out videos every single day. Thanks for watching and we'll see you guys next time.